how the fly will ride. There's our materials. This is Steve with Black Fly. Hope everybody is doing wonderful. We're gonna whip up a little betas pattern. Let's get right into it. 450 BL. And for the slotted tungsten B, it's a 532nd, 4.0, our thread, ultra thread. Build up just a little down behind that bead. Wrap back to the bend. Well, first thing we're gonna tie in is ultra thread in the 210 denier in the fluorescent fire orange. You can also use uh, glow bright. We doubled that over and then we're gonna double it over again. So essentially there's gonna be four strands. Now that looks like a lot, but you have to remember this is just, it's just UTC. So it's it actually flattens out real nice. The way I gauge this is I put the scissors against the barb and I just trim it hard and build up just a little bit of a taper. Chartreuse UTC wire, I'll stick that inside the bead there. And so I like to wrap on the side of the shank so it doesn't affect the taper of the body. And now we're going to take some peacock dubbing. We're going to use that olive color and it's got a little bit of a flash in it. I'm going to spin up a little dubbing noodle. Starting thin at the, the back and kind of getting thicker just to build a little tiny bit of a taper. And bring my thread back. Now we're going to counter wrap our wire. So what this wire does is it just gives the fly some segmentation and it adds some durability. So we're gonna go ahead and capture the wire. A couple wraps in front and behind. Helps if you bend it back and forth. Okay, so now we're just gonna put our finger through there and we're gonna create a dubbing loop. So make sure you go around it and then wrap it again just to secure that. Let's see if we can get that in. This is a loom dubbing spinner. And so you just put the hook. You hook your thread like that. And let that hang for a second. Now we're going to get some CDC. This is Superfly and Olive. I'm really liking the Trout Hunter. Superfly is good. The Trout Hunter just seems a little better. I'm going to take one Olive CDC feather and we're going to use half of this feather. Take my little clip clip here and I'm going to clip the CDC like that and grab my fine point scissors. And we're going to trim this one side of the feather your CDC and a clamp like this. And then we can tie another fly with the other half. So the next step, we open that loop up. We're gonna insert the clamp at the starting at the top. And then once we've got it inside that loop, I'm gonna pull tension. Now I'm pulling tight and I'm gonna open the clamp and release. So it's like this. So now we need to spin it. Now we've spun it. And then I'm just gonna preen CDC fibers back. So nice and buggy. A couple rounds. And we'll secure it. Fine point scissors and we're gonna just trim that. Okay, so next to create some contrast, I'm going to add black. Just want a tiny bit Go ahead and give this a couple wraps. See how that black just contrasts, it's kind of nice. Take our whip finish tool here. Give it seven wraps just to give it another point of contrast. Trim our thread. I'm just gonna push the CDC feathers back. If there's any real long stragglers, I'll just come in here and pick them off. I love CDC, it just holds an air bubble to create a lifelike look and it has a lot of a lot of movement in the water. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the water, but first I'm gonna give it a drop of loom. Just gonna put a little dab behind the head there and let it soak into the thread. UV light, just cure it. Now let's take a look at it in the water. Got to drop it in the water. Bloop. And this is how the fly will ride. It will ride inverted. Looks good. I usually tie them in a 4, a 3 0, and a 2 0. It covers my needs or anywhere close to that variation. But, anyways, guys, tie some up and fish them. This is Steve from Black Fly signing out. I'll see you guys on the next episode.